Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Val Free. I did a haul um, this weekend because it was the Memorial Day sale um, and I decided to jump on that because otherwise I probably would not have bought most of these products um, at full price. If you guys don't know me, uh, by the way, my name is Jay Wong. I do beauty videos, I do lifestyle videos, I do law school videos, I do a bunch of random videos. Um, so if you guys are into any one of those, please remember to click the subscribe button and yeah more videos coming soon so if you guys want to see what I hauled from 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 from, from Valfrey uh, please keep on watching okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open with one of these cool gilded scissors I got off Etsy um, yeah I'm super excited about this haul because I absolutely love this artist um, I saw a lot of her illustrations online when she was first starting out on Instagram and immediately fell in love because her style and everything really reminds me of one of my old school fave artists from back in the day, um, which was Fafi or Fafinette, um, with, who is a French graffiti artist, female graffiti artist. And she's like super popular. She did um, so many co collaborations with different sports brands, did murals for different companies, and even did a collaboration with MAC Cosmetics. So yeah, she was like a huge artistic inspiration for me when I was in high school and when I was like all up in art and like trying to study and do art. So yeah, I also really love Val Free now because um, her aesthetic is like almost like the 2017 version of um, Faffy. I don't really want to say that because people get like offended by that, but it is what it is, my opinion. So yeah, I just love her designs. They're so sassy and everything has like a double entendre or like a meaning to it. Um, and I really love it. I even like this little packaging that it came with. It comes with that famous peace sign um, sketch that she does. Okay, so let's get into it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. Ah, oh my God, it's so cute. Okay, so I I'm just going to open one at a time so I don't mess out on the reactions but oh my god this is so like so much cuter than expected it's a lot bigger than expected as well this is the first thing i got i got a phone case for my iphone 7 plus and it is this drop dead cigarette pack phone case and it's just so cute filtered cigarettes unfiltered opinions so, so cute. I personally do not smoke, but I think that the overall aesthetic and design of this entire phone case is so dope and so cool. So yeah, I am so into it. I love the art. I love the meaning. It's sassy. It's cool. It's girly. Everything that I really like, the whole aesthetic, everything. I love it. Okay, so let's open this. I'm really excited to use this. I want to use this like right away on my phone. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop it out like this. Even the packaging is really nice. The box is like really nice quality as well. I'm very surprised because she is like an independent artist. And here's how it looks like. Phone case. I'm just going to pop it on to my actual phone right now. It's like a it's like a tough rubber, by the way, if you guys were wondering what the the material is made out of. It smells kind of weird as well, but the detailing it on it is so pretty. Stabilize, stabilize. Okay, there we go. Uh, I just dropped you guys, but here is how um, the detailing looks like. Look how well made that is. It has the Valfrey logo right there, and all the details are actually really, really nice. Really happy with this. It's really high quality. The current phone case I'm using is from um, Velvet Caviar. Uh, it's been a really popular one. A lot of people and my friends have seen me use this and one of my friends actually, shout out to Gloria, she bought one as well, the exact same one for her iPhone. And yeah, we've been twinning lately, but now I'm going to try my new iPhone case from Val Free and show you guys. Oh my God, it's so cute. Is it gonna fit? Okay. You kind of just have to like squish it in like all those other phone cases. And the fit is magnificent. I love it. The only thing that I'm really scared of is because of this kind of eraser, plasticky material, it's gonna get dirty really easily. So uh, I'm just gonna have to take really good care of it, but it is so adorable. Like how sick, I can't wait to take mirror selfies and like, I don't know, it's just, it's just such a cool phone case. I am, I'm just so obsessed. It's like so cool. I love that they have this one cigarette that's kind of taller than the other. Kind of looks like an antenna of a phone as well. So cute how it's lined up, so pretty. Love it. So that's the first item. Oh my god, this one is so cool as well. This one's actually massive. This one's like the size of my head. This one's like really big. I'm really I'm really concerned about that because I like to 
um, carry my phone um, in a small bag. You guys all know you can like check out my video with my Furla bag unboxing, which is a very small bag, and I don't know how this phone case is gonna fit in there, but um, it's just such a cool design. Like I cannot like it's so cool. This is how it looks like. It's just like a poison bottle, like an old school, like a what am I trying to say? Apothecary bottle um, that says poison on it with a skull. The skull is shaped in a way that's like really cute, like a doll head kind of skull, almost like a, a an infant skull because it's like so condensed, like not um, realistic type of skull. Fine mix of unicorn blood, witch's brew, and broken hearts. Like how sassy is that? I absolutely love that. I love supernatural things. I love unicorns. I love witches. My, one of my favorite shows is American Horror Story and my favorite season is The Coven. Um, and just so sassy. Okay, so let's open it up and I'm gonna put it on my phone so you guys can see. Actually really nice. Um, I, okay, you guys can't tell, but this actually comes out, and this is why it's so large. Actually, comparatively, it's approximately the same size, height, as um, the other one. It just has this little bit that's a little bit extended because, of course, the design in the cap makes it like so. But something I want to point out is that if you go like this, see, the surface is not flat. It's not a square. It's actually rounded off. So it does feel like a potion bottle, like it does have a curve to it. So that's kind of interesting that they don't really show off on the website, but um, I guess you guys can see for yourselves. So look how beautiful. The detailing is really nice and it's really nice quality. I'm very impressed with this phone case. It feels like it would cost $100 actually, um, comparatively with other high-end brands. But of course I got it on sale because I got it for the Memorial Day sale. So, so cool. I'm like obsessed with this. This is like so cool. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my phone. Show you guys the fit and everything of how it looks on the screen side. This is so nice. Oh my God, I'm so happy with this purchase. Oh, obsessed. Okay, this one's a little bit harder to put in. You kind of have to like shove in one end first and kind of have to pull at the other ends. I don't know if I'm explaining that very well, but like you kind of have to pull up the ends to to open it up so it will like suck in the phone and that's how the fit looks like. It's very snug on there and the fit is just absolutely great. It's really well made. Like how cool does that look? That looks amazing. I really like this. I think, I don't know which one to use because they're both so cool. I, I honestly wish I had like two phones now just so I can use both at the same time, but I am absolutely obsessed with this. This is so cool. How cool is that? So cool. I'm, I'm like obsessed. This is so cool. You guys can start a drinking game. As many times as I say so cool, take a shot. You're going to be drunk by the end of this video. Okay, so let's see what else is in there. Oh, I remember now what I got. Ah, da -da -da -da. I got one of their tote bags. Because um, this was on sale. I think this was only $19. I can't exactly remember because sometimes when I'm shopping online, my ma my mind just goes blank. But this is how it looks like. I decided to get this because I am a big fan of her art. And I just loved a bunch of the different types of prints that she had. Of course, the skull print. I love this print, the milk one, the cat one, obviously. I just loved so many of her prints. And instead of wanting to buy like a bunch of different t-shirts, I thought that this was a really good piece to get because it is actually well made. The straps I saw online, it was like leather straps. Oh my God, the inside is really cute too. Look, it's lined. It's like lined and pink. And um, the straps are actually like a pleather material. So it does look a lot more um, expensive than your typical shopping tote. And it's also a really nice canvas. It's like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like the hard kind of canvas. It's not like the flimsy one you get at like Ralph's or like Fresh and Easy or like Walmart, you know, those reusable bags or whatever. It's like a really nice thick canvas material. Okay, so let's get rid of these if we can, the protective. <laughs> safety things. I'm gonna make sure I don't scratch. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I think this is really good for anyone who owns a 13-inch uh, laptop, goes to school, and doesn't have to carry a lot of paper products. This would be a really cool like book bag, something like super unique. Not unique, it's just something different, not like your average run-of-the-mill Forever 21 or like, you know, 
H&M type of bag. It's like different. I love supporting artists and I love the prints and the design of the whole thing. Also, this pink is so in right now for spring, like the pastels. So it really goes well with that. The only thing about this is it was packaged in such a weird way that it was like folded like this. So now there's like a little crease in the bag, but I'm sure when I start using the bag and um, kind of sort of, you know, squishing it out of that little weird fold that it was packaged in, it's gonna get rid of the crease. And yeah, I'm really excited to use this. I'm actually gonna start using this as a little purse slash book bag. I think it's really cool. It's different. I love the designs on it. Designs are just so cool. I love the prints. And that's that final item. I'm really excited about this one. Um, this is the one that I'm most nervous about because I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend that much money on this particular item, but I thought it was such a unique and cool thing going along with the same theme of um, aesthetic and stuff that I like. So I decided to pick it up anyway since I was buying so many things online as well from the same site. So, oh my God, it is actually so, so, so cute. Oh, sick. Comes with a sticker. Oh my God. This is perfect because I really wanted this. Um, I don't think this is, is this a sticker? No, this is a card, I think. Is it a sticker? Oh my God, it came with like a little card of her latest print of like the chow mein girl. Holy crap, that is so cool. It was so funny because I actually wanted to buy like uh, an item, like the print of this, the actual print of this. And I'm so happy that they gave me this little promo promo postcard of it because I really love this print. I'm definitely gonna treasure this and save it. Oh, her art is just so cool. Okay, so this is the final item. I'm really excited about it. It's basically just a notebook and it just says, spell book, guaranteed to make them weep. Oh, so cool. It has like such a dark twist, but it's like so sassy and girly and I love the graphics of it as well. Oh, it's so well made. You guys, it's so well made. It's like hand stitched. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like hand stitched. That's how it sounds like. If that'll give you a better indication of the material. It's kind of like a nice thick book. It's not too bulky and it's not too crazy. And I just love buying notebooks. I have like this weird thing about collecting notebooks. So this is gonna be a great collection in my notebook collection. I have a bunch of designer notebooks. Um, that I bought from art galleries, from different like collabs and stuff. I have like Harry Potter notebooks, like just novelty notebooks. I have like a weird obsession with notebooks. So this is just gonna stick in my closet or whatever in my collection when I go back home of, um, I have like a bookshelf full of like artistic notebooks and this is just gonna be added to the collection. I know it's kind of weird because I don't use a lot of the notebooks that I purchase for, um, I don't know, just collective purposes, but I feel like I might use this one because, first of all, I think I might buy another one so I could use this, because I'm like a crazy person like that, but, oh, oh my God, this page just sits, oh my God, I love this, because it's like a sketchbook, it's blank page, and one of my pet peeves is when um, you open up a piece of paper and it kind of like goes like this and you can't like write on top of it. This actually lays flat, Kind of like a moleskin you know how like the pages lay flat like this so you can draw even in the center so your design can be like one big piece of paper instead of just one square you know what i mean that's really cool this notebook is very very well made and i think because valfrey herself is an artist this was made um with the artist in mind um, because you could just pop this the size is very small it's not it's smaller than an a5 i think it might be in like What's lower than an A5, like an A6? I think this might be in like an A6 size because it's smaller than an A5. And this is just, I feel like it's made for the artist in mind because you can just toss this in your book bag or whatever. It'll fit perfectly in there. And um, yeah, you can just sketch on the subway or sketch like on the go. I really like this. I think I might actually purchase another one. This is really cool. So that's the final item that I got. Spell book, love it, love it, love it, amazing. I am so happy with all the products that I got. Everything looks so cool. Um, I'm totally excited. Oh, I got a text. I'm totally excited about the phone cases as well. Um, actually, I just love every single item that I got. Definitely worth the money. I think the quality is a lot better than I even anticipated. Um, I think even if I paid full price for, <clears throat> excuse me, 
Um, I think even if I paid full price for these phone cases, I would still think it's worth it because the quality is actually really there. It's really well made, it's thick plastic, fits perfectly on the device, and the design is really bold and really cool. And um, that's another thing that I love about um, some of the artistic indie brands. Um, it's because the artists themselves are creative individuals and they would get ticked off by minor details as well so when you buy from people who are like smaller up and coming or um, my camera cut off so i don't know where i stopped um talking but what i was trying to say that uh what i was trying to say is i really love indie brands because um there's just so much attention to detail because they're not a big corporation and i think because they're artists themselves they're like very picky about like fine details and i love how there's so much detail even in the fact that the potion bottle phone case is curved like that i myself as an artistic person i really appreciate that kind of detail and another thing i just wanted to note because of that is um the only thing is because see the camera it's like so thick here with the with the roundness of it the camera is gonna might you might have shadowing when you take photos outdoors because of because the camera's indented kind of like if you're taking photos with a DSLR so that might I don't know that might become a problem but I'll just like take it off if I need to take cool photos with my iPhone but yeah that's that um yeah that's basically all I have to say I hope you guys enjoyed this Val free online haul um if you guys want me to share another kind of artistic company um, with you guys please click the thumbs up button and I'll show you I'll show you guys a little sneak peek if you guys want me to talk about this company and show you guys all the products that I've bought from that company as well um, let's try to get 10 thumbs up on this 10 thumbs up is like nothing it's like let's let's raise that let's raise that to like 20 thumbs up okay because sometimes i'm lazy so um if i get 20 thumbs up on this video i'll definitely show you guys and share with you guys those little cute pouches of cats and stuff um and where i got them and um why i like to collect them and show you like very intricate details about stitching and everything um for the uh viewing pleasure i don't know buying review purposes i don't know i i tend to like to look up youtube videos so i can like really see in detail the materials of things if i want if i wanted to buy it um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to give me a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to see the other video and also remember to subscribe remember to subscribe to this channel uh click the button down below and also if you want instant notifications for every time i post just click the little bell button beside the subscribe button so every time i have a new posting you'll have a notification and you can watch my new videos and find out new cool brands and cool things and yeah so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>